Hello. So I had two slides, but I decided it wasn't worth the hassle of plugging in a laptop. So imagine on, imagine on the wall behind me it says, do repeat to yourself sometimes. Um, because of course there's the famous mantra now of don't repeat yourself, which comes from the book by um, Andy Hunt and Dave Thomas, the pragmatic programmer. I just realised that holding this up, mine's got all this oriental scroll on the front. It, it doesn't normally look like this, so it's a bit weird to hold it up. It must have been like a... Unicode for the publishers or something. <laughs> um, anyway, it's a really good book if you haven't heard of it. The Pragmatic Programmer is, is, is brilliant. And I'm not here to argue against it or to criticise it. One of the themes they talk about is duplication of code. And they say don't repeat yourself. And I've probably said that far too much now. Um, it's a really good book. Um, and what, what's happened there is this, this kind of catchy phrase, don't repeat yourself, has caught up, which is good. It's a good idea. So people go around and you sort of you're doing something along the mailing list or an IRC or someone come over your shoulder and say, oh no, don't repeat yourself, don't they? And I mean, it, you, I've seen some horrid examples of this where people copy and paste code and change a tiny bit, and you think, oh come on, you should have abstracted that away and called it, and that would have been better. So sure, don't copy and paste, don't repeat yourself, and, and I get all that. But I think kind of the meaning from the book has lost a lot of its meaning. And I find myself sometimes now, like I say, there's these people, but a lot, the, the person who gives me the most grief about repeating myself is in here. And I think to myself when I'm working, oh no, I'm, I'm repeating myself, I mustn't do that, and I feel bad. Now, for example, if I'm writing an application that stores stuff in a database, I'll probably write the description for that application in the code, code, and then I'll write the database scheme in SQL. And there are lots of tools that save me from doing that, and they're all well and good, but maybe for a small project, or maybe there's a certain subtlety of something I've done that a generic tool doesn't save me from. And, of course, there's the effort of using those things. So sometimes, if I've just got one database, repeating myself a little bit is all right. Because, of course, everything, every effort that you make has a contrary effort to be made if you do something else. So it's okay to, call, to do that a bit. Also, sometimes, if you're doing something very similar twice, it's easy to make it generic. And then when the third problem comes along, <coughs> the generic solution you made for two doesn't work for the third thing, and it definitely won't work for the fourth. So maybe sometimes have a little bit of duplication, a little bit of, of stuff that needs refactoring later on. Um, because people talk about technical debt. Um, we're in a university today. When I was a student, I took on a loan so I could study, and then later on I paid that off as I earned money. So debt is all right. So I know nowadays it's really unfashionable to go, yeah, debt's fine. It's, what can go wrong when you have loads of debt? And of course we know what goes wrong when you have loads of debt. But when you have a little manageable debt, it's okay. So technical debt, repeating yourself is a technical debt, but do it sometimes. Um, don't tidy up too early. When you're writing an application, don't say, oh, I could make this a bit cleaner. Because if you're halfway through, you're probably going to make a lot more mess in a bit more time. So if you go tidy up and then make more mess, well, keep it manageable. Keep the mess manageable, of course, but um, give your, don't feel everything has to be perfect and clean all the time. And so I guess what I'm saying is, um, the book, the ideas in the book are great. Um, trying to avoid making a mess, trying to avoid with duplication is good, but, but keep it within balance. Use your experience, use other people's experience to guide you. And don't do what I've kind of found myself doing a lot, which is trying to keep things too tidy, too sort of organised. And, and then you end up having things that are really abstract and unreadable and have lots of layers. So, well, that's been, it's been a problem I've had. And if it's a problem you find yourself having, there's a potential solution. Thanks for listening.